Bible says you're not of it, but baby, you got to deal with it. Huh? And so you're going to have to come subject to the authority because the Bible's all authority. It's ordained of God. So you can't get so much sense to you that's foolish. Huh? And if you got it right, then where's your church? If you got it right, who following you? Huh? Because with that concept, ain't going to be nobody but you and your wife. And what's going to happen is you're going to lose your family. Because I've seen people preaching with a crazy concept and ideal that they didn't get from scripture. And they try, and try to save my family and lose their family. Huh? Because you're trying to preach a gospel. Can't nobody live it but Jesus. You can't even live it. Huh? Everybody get the crazy concept. Huh? And I said, okay, you, you, you got all this wisdom not on God. For your sister. What you doing? Where your church at? Huh? Who you pastor? Because you got all this sin. God didn't give you all this sense to nigga to be have it, give it all to you and you know, you know what I'm saying? And you can see it. So I said, okay, where, where your son at? Because traders are something things hope for. So where's your sister? Huh? I mean, you tell me, I've been preaching 18 years, pastor for eight, and now I'm going I'm to embrace your concept? Man, you got to be great. And you wonder why you ain't preaching in my church. For me to embrace that stuff and put you up and lose everything I work for because you crazy and got, got, got to win, huh? And that thing bothered me all night. That thing bothered me because I mean, they been wanting to hit me anyway. Because when they see when God begin to move, they want to attack you. And I, and I pray for y'all. I pray for the people. I pray because they ain't going to convert pastors. But I pray for y'all to get some concept because they'll show you where you been, got all the women's going for it. I've not been rubbing some folk that have been checking us out up in here. Can't get all them women getting for What? I ain't got no problem with them. I ain't jealous of them. I ain't got no problem with them. Huh? Let them labor. But you watch it, Gwen, when they get a thing of that stuff about the church. Somebody says, that's a hidden agenda, baby. This thing going to bleed over into your house. Huh? And, and you thought you had somebody had a foot over you. You what did you get in your house? And if you gonna keep your barefooted pregnant in the kitchen, huh? So that's the concept, huh? And you 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 got some crazy folk around here. You gotta go to Chicago, go around the corner and get them nuts, huh? Preach a gospel like that, huh? And I said, so, like I told you, so, man, so much going on in the world now. Folks killing each other. You got crack houses on every corner. And you debating about who called. You debating about who uh, uh, qualified to carry the word. For, he said, in the last days, it should come to pass, said the Lord of God, he poured his spirit up in all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Tell somebody to preach. Young man see vision, old man dream, dream, dream. And until you're made seven minutes. So he's going to pour his spirit up on all flesh. Mm. And we sit back here wrestling. Mm. How can we hear? What well, God to preach? How can he preach? And Seth, he said, For the written, how beautiful the feet of those that preach the gospel of peace and who bring glad tidings. Huh? So you carrying up a, 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 a message to a dying generation? Who care who bring it? Who bring? I bring the illustration all the time. I say you in a hole, you in a well, and, and somebody got the at the end with a rope. Are you concerned about who who got the rope? Baby, I don't care. The clans with a hood on his head got the rope. If he gonna get me out of the hole, I don't want to do it. Get out of the hole. We we'll deal with issues when I get out the hole. When I get out the hole, I run. Arguing about who's called, who's legit. God church, God said they should. I mean, I said, man, I said, I mean, I mean, I mean, you stuck there, and all this stuff going on, and then what God began to do with me about this new beginning, huh? 
how, 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 how we got folk that, that's going to hold on to the past and what God is trying to do, burst up the new in them. And I know Bible says he's the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore. But tell us about his methods changing. Now, he's not going to go into sin because you got another bunch out here don't know what to do because we don't have to deal with the young folk. We conform him. But my Bible said, brother, I beseech you, therefore, by the mercy of God, to present your body of living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable servant. Be not conformed to this world, but be you transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is a good and acceptable will of God. So we got one group of folk don't know what to do and try to get this young children. They're conforming. That's why they're rapping and stepping and doing everything now. Because then nobody got no clear vision. Huh? So we don't know what to do. So try to get them. We guess Paul said, I became them. That was a lie. Ain't gonna get drunk to get no drunk. Go smoke no dope to get no dope head. Huh? I mean, I ain't gonna start running the streets. That's to get somebody off the street. The devil's like, tell somebody, you better get some sense. I told him, and I, and, I, and I walked out when I said this right here, that he said you got to preach the Bible. I agree with that, but you need to read your Bible. It said you need to rightly divide the word of truth. 